So coming off of that win against uh, Navi, you look pretty confident winning 2-0 and the maps weren't that close. Uh, how do you think uh, the semi-finals will go and who do you think you'll meet there? I think we will meet TSM in the semi-final. Uh, it's going to be an interesting matchup, I don't really know how it's going to go, but it's going to be an interesting game no matter what. Yeah, because your, your lineup is quite fresh as well, with two new additions. Uh, but in the French scene, you know each other very well. You've played each other for I don't know how many years. Is that uh, something you... Have you been working on the chemistry between your players lately? Uh, not really, to be honest. We just started working straight on what we wanted to work on. Uh, we're coming here to the tournament prepared. We don't have much to work on. And I think we have everything it takes to win. So you're aiming for that top one spot. You want to win this. Yeah, of course. That was our objective when we swapped players. Um, we gave ourselves the opportunity to do that by playing non-stop. And uh, yeah, we're ready. Who's your dream opponent in the finals? Well, the weakest for sure if I want to win. But the dream opponent for a great matchup would be Fnatic because we've been facing them so many times and we always struggle against them. So facing them would be symbolic. And if you meet Fnatic, how will the match go? For the spectators, I'd say 2-1, close games, overtimes everywhere. If I pick it, I'd say a sweet 2-0 in our favor. How was it playing in this arena with over 10,000 spectators shouting every time you made a good play, the knife kills, everything? It was a crazy feeling. Uh, obviously, it's something you cannot experience many, many times. So we're taking the best out of it. But we obviously need to focus on our own game, otherwise we cannot go farther. So yeah, step by step, but playing in the arena was really amazing. All right, thank you.